Hey guys, welcome to Live Tech Australia. We are with Eric Lee and CM Lin uh, talking about the Raspberry Pi, which is pretty much, it's brand new. A lot of people don't really know about it. Can you tell us a bit more, what is, it's for our viewers who don't really know what Raspberry Pi is, what, what is it? Well, it's uh, essentially a, a US uh, dollar 35, uh, US 35 dollar credit card size uh, computer. So as you can see here, uh, it's actual size, and uh, it comes with um, uh, you know HDMI uh, interface for graphics. Uh, you can uh, pop in an Ethernet cable and go online. Uh, you've got two USBs that you can then connect up your uh, mouse and keyboard to it, and it's just powered off of a standard micro USB uh, five volt that you use for your mobile phones and so on. And essentially, it's a motherboard and more. Yeah. So. Um, you know, you can then load uh, up uh, Linux on it and and be up and running, you know, as a computer. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you mentioned that it's running Linux. Well, how come it's only Linux, not Android, or obviously Windows, or Google Chrome? How come only Linux? Mm -hmm. Well, um, the idea for the Raspberry Pi is that, um, you know, first thing is to keep the cost of it really, really low yeah. so that it's uh, uh, widely, widely accessible, mm -hmm. yeah? So licensing fees and software and things like that are one of the major components uh, when when you buy a, a, a computer, yeah. yeah? So uh, the Linux OS is uh, is uh, open source, so um, it's free, and um, which is one of the main reasons why it's running uh, Linux and not mm -hmm. anything else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it did talk about the design. Um, it's a very intimidating design because uh, you've said your target market is for students, right? Yes. So it's a very intimidating design for like a student, they'd look at it and they'd just be like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. There's no sort of like shell or box or anything like that. Well, um, the one, of the, one, of the, one of the things that the designers did think about is to try not to make it like a regular mother size board which is yeah. quite big and, and quite intimidating uh, but the reason why it doesn't have a chassis and so on is that um, you know uh, the the, ori the designers wanted it to be um, uh, really open you could you know touch it feel it you can have direct access to 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 the interfaces and everything uh, that you even plug it in and and so on because i think uh, nowadays in in a lot of the, the uh, consumer uh, electronics and so on they try and make it very much in a black box environment whereas the aim of this is to encourage people to you know have a go at it if it breaks it breaks it's 35 yeah. bucks US right so so it's intentionally designed so that it, it's open accessible you can touch it you can modify, plug it. Stiff, modify yeah. it and 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 so on and the reason why it also doesn't have a chassis is because you know uh, someday somebody like Daniel yeah. might, you know, make a, a music player out of this, uh, make buy his own casing and case it up, uh, put a backup battery to it and carry it around and it's called the Daniel Media Player. Media player. Yeah. So it's very customizable. Now, yeah. the pricing and availability for Australia, you've mentioned it's 35 uh, US dollars yeah. in America. How much would it be in Australia at this point in time? So, uh, right now, um, it's, a, it's about 20, 2160 60. pounds. 2160 pound for and the then cost the of it plus yeah. the shipping charge delivery yeah yeah which is 495 495 pounds so if you add all of that up uh, at, i think yesterday's exchange rate it works up to be about 41 bucks you uh, australian Aussie dollars, dollars. Yeah. 41 australian dollars yeah. for the whole delivered package. to your doorstep delivered to your doorstep That's and right. where where can we uh, learn more about this and or order it yeah you can go to uh, rs online uh, in australia so we've got an uh, rs online uh, website in australia you can go onto it, uh, look for the Raspberry Pi page, and then uh, put in uh, an, an expression of interest, which then puts you in a global queue, and you will then get an email telling you that you are in the queue, where you are in the queue, and then as the units come in through the door, uh, and we have it uh, available for uh, immediate shipment, you then get an email to say, come and place your order, pay us, and then, you know, you'll get your products delivered within the week. Okay, that sounds like an efficient service. Yeah. CM and Eric, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank thanks, you. Daniel.